Guys, one of the common mistakes I see people doing when they are required to move a boundary in order to show it moving on the screen is that they go to the boundary conditions, they double click, and then they go to the zone or the boundary which uh, is required to move, and then they double click. For example, here it's of the type wall, which is uh, what's required to move on the screen or to show a movement. So they go to moving wall, and uh, this is incorrect because even though it simulates uh, the um, the movement of the wall but it actually doesn't show you this movement so what you need to do is to keep it stationary here and then you go to the dynamic mesh which is the only way you can show the boundary moving